obviously there is uh, some sexual dimorphism. The boys are bigger. Um, and for genitalia, it's fairly straightforward on the guy. Um, he's got, this guy still have a lot of fat here, so I'll just try and probe some away without losing vital parts. Okay. So obviously what we have here is the testicle. Right there. There we go. Okay, I'll relax. Okay, so there we have a testicle. And we have the testy here, which is this part. And then around this part, this is the epididymis. This is where sperm is stored. And that line travels up through this canal. This canal is called the inguinal canal, and it is where the arteries and veins deliver blood to the testy and then take uh, blood away. Um, and it's also where the vas deferens, which is the, the cord, the little tube through which the sperm will swim, and it will come up and then out the penis, which is here. Um, now, in order to find that vas deferens, it's a little delicate, but not too terribly tough. Um, what I'm doing here is I'm probing some of the fat away, and if you look, this is the urinary bladder, if you look, you will be able to see a very tiny tube right there. Watch. You see that? I'm trying to get it. Oh, come on now. I'm trying to hook it without breaking it. Right there. Oh, let me pull it. Hard not to get the peritoneum. There. A little tube right there, and there's one on both sides. And that is the tube from which the sperm come up, travel over, and then come down and out through the penis. And theoretically, therefore, there's another testicle right here. Okay. There it is. There's the second testy. It also has an inguinal canal right up here, and you can, you can see it right there. Boom. See that little cable right there? Okay. So those are your two vast differences. So those cables come up and then disappear down behind the urinary bladder, and they will come up through the penis. All right. And for as far as sexual um, genitalia on the male, that's pretty much all you need to know. Can I see a female now? Maybe. Uh,